Hi and welcome back to another card making video. Today I'm going to play with embossing as well as die cutting and I have here some new 3D embossing folders from the latest release by Altenew. These are the thick ones that give a really good impression. They are 6x6 in size so they fit uh, both vertically and horizontally, a standard uh, card and you will find um, embossing folders with a very uh, versatile design like geometric shapes, these are the diamond stars, the modern squares as well as the rows of squares. They have also released flower designs, these are the daisies, really stunning. This is the flowery field with a row of beautiful flowers. The folders with the flowers are so pretty and I'm planning to make a video using just these ones. And here's another one with the tulips. Hopefully you can see the design. But for today I'm going to work with the next two folders which I absolutely love. These are the frame ones and you can see there is an oval one with a lovely design like flowers all around. And there is this one which is more uh, classic in a big rectangle shape. Now I love both of them just because they create the perfect backdrop for sticking on top and nesting your focal points. I'm going to start by placing inside my paper for this first one which is called Simple Frame. I'm using black cardstock while for the other one which is called Baroque Frame I'm going to use white cardstock in a smaller size. If you want to make sure that these are perfectly aligned you can secure down your cardstock with a piece of um, low tag tape. Or of course you can use your washi tape and I can run it now through my die cutting machine. Here I'm using my Big Shot and uh, I found that you can use the two platforms then the embossing folder with the paper inside and then on top one of your cutting mats. I'm going to run it a couple of times and you will see that I will get a beautiful impression. There are um, people that like to spray with a little bit of water the paper first, however I didn't find that necessary. I'm using standard cardstock, this is 80 pounds, and for the white I did use Nina Solar White, 80 pounds again, and I had no cracks whatsoever on the paper. The designs come out really gorgeous and I did a close-up look here so probably you can see how lovely they look which is kind of difficult to catch on camera. I will turn these two backgrounds into cards using flowers on both of them and with the same color combo however I will get a completely different look. For the first one I did cut out all these foliage and these come from a new die set from the latest Alte New release. I used all the four dies at the top row and these are called branches and berries die set and I wanted a tiny flower that's why I went with the Beatty Bloom 3D die set. This uh, gives you a tiny little uh, rose and uh, I think it is perfect for what I'm going for here. I did cut out everything by using my uh, gradient color cardstock. For the rose I have three shapes in uh, three shades of pink and I'm just stacking one on top of the other. I follow the instructions on the packaging so they are pretty easy to do. For sticking everything down just like always I am using my trusted Nouveau Deluxe glue and with a foam square at the back I'm going to stick the rose inside my frame. And I would say it's pretty much at the center and now I'm going to embellish my flower by tucking underneath it a few of those foliage that I did cut out. If you notice I did use two shades of green just for some variation. And I'm adding glue only at the base of these uh, leaves so that uh, I will be able to fluff it up later on. The embossed frame of this card gives a touch of elegance and I absolutely love the look. You can leave the card as it is or if you want you can embellish it a little bit more. I do have the new Cherry Blossom Enamel Dots and these happen to be the exact same colors as the Cherry Blossom Gradient Cardstock that I used for the rose. I'm just going to use some of the tiniest ones here and there and uh, you will see that uh, they are going to change position. The good thing about those enamel dots is that uh, they are quite forgiving so if you don't press too hard you will be able to reposition them until you are happy with their placement. I used foam tape at the back of this panel and I'm sticking that on top of a pink cardstock that matches the pink, uh, light pink of my rose. For the sentiment I went with the word thanks that I die cut out of glitter cardstock and this finishes my first card for today. And here is a close up look where you can hopefully see all that I mentioned. 
I'm absolutely happy with the result. It is a simple card but so elegant in its simplicity. Here are some close-up photos where you can see better the stunning embossed baroque frame. For the second embossed frame, again I'm going with flowers, this time with the Climber Flowers die set. The fun part about this die is that it gives you in one die all the pieces that you need to cut out to create the flowers that uh, uh, can be used from the same cardstock. So one is for the lighter color, one is for the mid one, and another set for the darker one. This way you don't have to fuzz around with smaller pieces and uh, with one passing you can have all the pieces that you want without trying to decide which goes where. So it is really easy to put the flowers and the leaves together. I'm just following the guide on the packaging. If you notice, the flowers and the leaves follow the same color combo as uh, the one I used for the flowers in the first card. So again, I'm using shades of pink from the Cherry Blossom Gradient Cardstock set. And again, the um, cardstock for the leaves is from the Green Meadows Gradient Cardstock set. You will find uh, links to everything I used down below in the description area. Again, to stick my uh, leaves and the flowers together, I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe glue. I always go with uh, liquid glue when I have to do uh, die cut layering just because I can easily slide the pieces one on top of the other until I'm happy with the outcome. Also the fun part about using uh, this glue in specific is that um, even if something oozes out underneath the pieces it's going to dry completely clear, it's not going to be sticky and you won't see that at all. So even if you are a little bit messy this is going to save the day. I put together the flowers, I put together the leaves separately and I'm going to combine those two together to create a lovely setting piece. I think this is just stunning and it looks so beautiful and think of all the color combinations that you can use for the flowers. Now back to the background and this time I'm going to use some ink, I'm going to do a little bit of inking just with one side of the ink pad, very lightly I'm just going to drag the ink over the embossed area, the embossed area is going to pick up a little bit of color and it's going to highlight it and help it bring it more to life. You need to make sure that you apply that very lightly, you want to have a little bit of white only on top of the frame. Another way to get a similar result is to go on top of them with your fingers. If you find that easier, then just do that. The white ink that I'm using here is pink bent ink and that means that I need to let this frame dry for a while before I go ahead and work on top of that, otherwise I may smudge and smear the white ink and create a mess. And now I am ready to stick on top my focal point, for that I'm using some foam squares at the back in different parts of the flowers and the leaves, so for some of them I want them to be popped up, while for other parts I'm going to stick them completely flat, directly on top of my black panel. I always like to have a little bit of dimension on my cards, I find that uh, that makes them look more special, and that's what I'm always after. So you see here I have two flowers, one in front of the other, so the one that at the back is going flat, the one at the front, the bigger one, has a foam square at the back. I never add glue at uh, the edges of the leaves so that I can easily fluff them up, and here I'm going to continue the design by sticking those leaves at the top. And in terms of card design, if you notice, I'm going to add one more leaf at the bottom, and this way I have uh, two triangles on my card, one full of flowers, the other one quite empty. Again I'm going to embellish my card since I have those cherry blossom enamel dots on my table. And again if you notice in terms of design I'm adding all those enamel uh, dots only on the triangle with the flowers. Finally I added my sentiment, just a simple uh, strip of white cardstock with black stamping on top and any sentiment would go with this card. All I have to do is to stick this panel on top of a pre-folded card that's for a color by 5.5 and, and I absolutely love the black background, it makes a big contrast and helps those uh, colors of the flower to pop even more. 
So these were the projects for today. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired. Just like always, you will find links to everything I used down below in the description area. And don't forget to pop over on my blog. You will find the link below as well, because there are lots of giveaways since this is part of a blog hub as we celebrate the latest release by Altenew. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.